because they're all upset with this Navy officer, so because he's abusing a Marine sentry. Marines take care of their people. So he challenged that Navy officer to a duel. The next morning, he killed him in a fair fight. Anthony Gale. Got court martialed. And the Commandant said he, he, he served the highest interest of the Marine Corps, and he was acquitted. Who said that? Last one. Who was it? Anthony who, Gale. Who, coming up here. You're the, no one ever gets that. You know, there's only two Marine Commandants who were ever full-blooded Irishmen. Can you name the other one? Okay, come on up here. Come on. <laughs> Tell everybody what you just said. What's his name? Anthony Gale, four time on the you will never get the show. That's right. Where's he buried? Nobody knows, but it's in what state? Kentucky. He's the only comment that doesn't get a. Okay. <laughs> and he was made fourth commandant, and then he was court martialed and retired. He was, uh, he was known. He, did, he was hanging out with, uh, he was kind of a wild bachelor guy. And he was politically incorrect for sure. Okay, now we got another one here. Um, wild bachelor. Name a Marine who, um, anybody named Marine that won the Heisman Trophy? Pretty good one. You know who the Heisman Trophy is? So it had to be a college guy, right? Not only did this guy win the Heisman Trophy, when the New York Athletic Club asked him, asked him to come down and, uh, and receive it, his employer refused him permission. Didn't get to go for two more years to receive the trophy. And you want to take a guess what school he went to? The finest Catholic university in the world in a little town in Indiana. Right, boy, that came quick. The uh, Angelo Bertelli, seven games, played in the finest quarterback in football history. Won seven straight games, but then he was, he had already signed up. Before the season was over, he went off to Paris Island. Won the Heisman Trophy. They sent a telegram down to Paris Island. The series commander sent back a telegram saying, we have, we have high hopes that Private Bertelli will make an officer. And training is very important here. Permission denied. They wanted to send him, just wanted him for a couple hours. Permission denied. Two years later, he came back in his Alphas to New York City with a from Sai, after Saipan and Iwo Jima, and a Purple Heart, and a Bronze Star, and in his Marine uniform, got the Heisman Trophy. Just passed away. Can anybody tell me what branch of the service uh, has won an Oscar? The Air Force. Now, I'm asking the question, what, what branch do you think it would be, uh, Sherlock? <laughs> Air Force, that's not even military. <laughs> even a little said Army, Navy. The Air Force guys know they're not military. They have been. I've been, I've been, I've been embedded with the Air Force. I've been, I've been even MREs went across the, went across the other side of the base where the Air Force is making ice cream sundaes and everything else in the world. And nobody knows the name of the branch that won the high, the, uh, the, the. Uh, the Academy Award Oscar. No one? The Marine Corps. Did anybody tell what, what movie they, they got that Oscar for? <laughs> documentary. Best documentary of the year in 19, I think it was 44. No. Stand to be with you. There's the Battle of Tarawa. The point is, we have a lot of great history. We should be proud of it. And let me tell you, someday, we produce about 8,000 really great citizens a month when people leave the Marine Corps. But you know the expression, once a Marine. And as you get farther and farther away from active duty, like I'm, I'm pretty far away, you'll, you'll find that you'll treasure your time in the Marine Corps more than ever. So let's go on and um, let's, let's have entomology. Can anybody tell me the definition of entomology? Tough quiz here, isn't it? Who said that? Stand up. Come over here. Tell everybody what you said. That's right. The definition works. All they come, right? Okay. 